Hey guys, Will here. So just a super quick video for you today. I wanted to talk about Logitech compatibility. Now, anybody that owns any Logitech sim racing products would know that compatibility can be quite tricky, particularly if you're playing on a console. Say for example, you own a G29, G920 or a G923 and maybe just wanna upgrade your pedals or maybe you wanna go the other way and keep your existing pedals but just upgrade your wheel. That's always been a little bit tricky, if not impossible. Now, if you're on PC, there are a couple of things that you could do, but if you're on console, console, you're pretty much locked into having to upgrade everything at the same time, which of course can cost a lot more money than a lot of people are wanting to spend on a hobby. So Logitech have just released this little guy here. This is an adapter module, which is actually going to unlock a whole lot of different options when it comes to compatibility. So today we're going to be checking out the Logitech G racing adapter, showing you all the things that it can achieve and hopefully saving you some money in your upgrade path. Let's get going. So let's quickly start off with pricing. Now I wanna let you guys know we do have a 5% discount code available for all Logitech G products. So keyboards, mice, steering wheels, pedals, webcams, headphones, you name it. If it's a Logitech G branded product, that discount code will work and that is a global thing. So check the details down in the description box for that code. With that discount code, it's gonna bring the price down to $71.95 in Australia, $35 in the US or uh, 40, 49 euros. So a bit of a saving there. It is still quite expensive for a little bit of plastic with a knob on it. But uh, just to quickly compare with the Leo Bodner Electronics adapters that were previously available for Logitech pedals and shifters, those were 35, 45 US dollars with shipping. And if you wanted to connect a shifter and a set of pedals, you'd actually have to buy two of them and connect them to individual USB ports on your PC. Now, as you'll see today, this does make things a little bit more simple and also has the advantage of being console compatible too. So let's break it down now and talk about all the things that you can do with the Logitech G racing adapter. So scenario number one, and this is a PC specific scenario simply because consoles generally don't allow you to have multiple USB devices plugged in. So if you're wanting to use a different brand wheel and then make use of say Logitech pedals and a shifter, unfortunately that isn't gonna work on console, but it will work on PC. So imagine this, basically you've upgraded your wheelbase and uh, you're wanting to make use of your old Logitech pedals, maybe your driving force shifter. So under that scenario, what you can do is grab the cable from your driving force shifter, plug it into one side on the RS-232 connection and plug your pedals into the other side. And then you just simply plug the racing adapter into your PC and you're all up and running with your shifter and pedals functional with whatever wheel and wheelbase you wanna run on your PC. So scenario number two now, you've gone out and bought yourself a shiny new Logitech G Pro racing wheel, but you don't wanna to upgrade to their G Pro pedals or maybe you're wanting to use a shifter. And as of up until now, there wasn't actually a shifter available that was compatible with this, uh, with this particular wheelbase if you're running on console. Obviously on PC, you're able to plug in any shifter that you want via USB, so it wasn't really a problem there. So under that scenario, exactly the same configuration. You can plug in your shifter and your G29, G920 or G923 pedals into the racing adapter. You then just plug the USB connection on the racing adapter into the back of the G Pro wheelbase, then plug your wheelbase into your PC or console as usual. And it's as simple as that. So you've got full functionality with your shifter, your older G923, G29 or G920 pedals, all running through your G Pro wheelbase on Xbox, PS4, PS5 or PC. Very, very simple. So scenario number three now, you already own a G29, G920 or G923, and you're wanting to upgrade just your pedals without upgrading your wheelbase. Now, of course, on PC, this has always been simple. You can just buy whatever pedals you want as long as they can plug in via USB. You install whatever drivers you need and you're good to go. On console though, you're a little bit stuck because of what we are talking about before with only being able to have one input device connected at any given point in time. So under this scenario, what you're able to do is upgrade to the Logitech G Pro pedals, plug those into the USB-A connection on the side of the racing adapter, then connect the racing adapter to the pedal input port on your G29, G920 or G923. That is done via the uh, little RS-232 60 centimeter long cable that they include in the racing adapter box. Uh, and that gets you up and running with the Logitech G pedals. So it's a decent pedal upgrade here for your G29 without having to fork out for an upgraded wheelbase. Just be aware that it does unfortunately only work with Logitech's G Pro pedals. So it is disappointing that it's not a little bit more versatile 
volatile when it comes to connecting other pedals through to a G923, but at least this gives you a clear upgrade path without having to fork out extra money for a uh, upgraded wheelbase and wheel if you are on a console. Now you might be wondering what the actual knob is for. Under this particular scenario, what this allows you to do is increase or decrease the sensitivity or the amount of force required for the brake pedal. If you're wondering how to correctly calibrate that to achieve your maximum speed and consistency inside the sim, we do have a video for that linked down in the description below. So definitely check that out. Now the knob itself actually has a really nice feel to it, nice and smooth. And it's there's enough resistance there as well. One of the things that I was a little bit concerned about is that if it was too loose, it would be easy to accidentally knock. And of course, if you knock it out of position, that is gonna mess with your muscle memory, which is very important to driving quickly and consistently. But yeah, that's got a good amount of resistance there and it feels very premium. So it's as simple as that guys, obviously not a product that every single person is gonna be rushing out to buy, but if you happen to fall within one of those scenarios that we've discussed today, then hopefully something like this can save you a little bit of money and uh, make the upgrade path a little bit easier for you without having to fork out to upgrade everything at once. So I really hope that today's video has helped you out. If it has, please do leave a thumbs up. Don't forget that discount code linked down in the description below as well. That is valid for all Logitech G branded products. So steering wheels, this guy, uh, mice, keyboards, headphones, you name it. If it's Logitech G, that discount code will work. Hopefully that can save you some money. And that is it. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.